A New York Islanders fan with the goal of a lifetime is hoping the sign she holds up at home games will lead to an assist like no other from a kidney donor. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan says the response from Isles fans has been overwhelming. 26 year old Madison Santalitro's kidneys are failing. Yeah, she desperately sure. needs luck. a transplant. When I was 18 years old, I got diagnosed with uh, stage four kidney failure. A year later, at stage five, Madison gratefully received a kidney from an anonymous donor. But it failed five years later, and now I'm in the search for another match. With encouragement, Madison decided to go public with her plea. My transplant team basically told me, like, don't be ashamed, bring it to social media. Madison went a step farther, the big time arena of her life, UBS. She and her boyfriend are diehard New York Islanders fans. Well, I brought a sign to the game saying, calling all fans, I need a kidney. Two sections over the Blue and Orange Army fan club caught sight of Madison and her poster. Next thing you know, we got the talking and just started sharing a story out there and helped her find the kidney. They posted it on their website. Until I find a kidney, then I'll be on dialysis. Three days a week, four hours at a time. Giving back to the community is something the Blue and Orange Army has always been a part of. We just want to do what we can to help out our fellow Long Islanders. Now you're hoping that this actually leads to a successful match. It would mean the world. Madison hopes to display her posters all month at Islanders home games. So far, the outreach has been remarkable. I didn't expect anything to happen, to be quite honest. It's just been quite an overwhelming past two and a half, like one and a half weeks. Nothing can describe how thankful I am. The former Longwood High cheerleader and youth coach knows a new kidney will mean a new lease on life. From Elmont, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. And uh, if you or you know someone who's interested in trying to help this young woman, we have a link to Stony Brook Hospital's Transplant Center. Find it on our website, cbsnewyork.com.